Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. Today we're going to be learning how to use a pipette, how the different parts of a pipette and also how to fix a block pipette. So what we have here is a Gilson Pipette Man. Here we can see the brand Gilson and on the other side we can see it says Pipette Man. The pipette we have in question here is a P1000 pipette. This means it can go between 100 microliters and 1000 microliters or 1 milliliter. This is a P1000. You also get a P200 which is between 20 and 200 microliters. A P100 which may be between 10 and 100. A P10, a P20 sorry which may be between 2 and 20. A P2 which may be between 0.2 microliters and 2 microliters. So there's a wide range of pipettes but basically what you're going to be using here is the P1000 pipette. So now that we know how pipettes work what we're going to do now is just have a look at this pipette. Let's just get into focus. So as we can here see starting at the end here we have the plunger button and we have the plunger which pushes up and down to blow air through the pipette. Next we have the volume adjustment knob and you can see there it changes the volume dial. Next, this is the tip ejector button. You push it down, it pushes the tip if, um, ejector arm down and this gets rid of the pipette tip. What we can see here now is the volume indicator and this is the main shaft of the pipette. So now I'm just going to put a pipette a tip onto the end of this pipette and this just shows you what it looks like. Normally you have a box of tips but unfortunately I don't have one with me here but basically this is how it works and to eject the tip you literally press down on the ejector button. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to learn how to adjust the volume on the pipette so as you can see here once you get in focus you can literally pull up the adjustment knob and you can turn it. So for example you can see here it's set on one milliliter so the big red one which is the top unit means a thousand and going down the next one below that is hundred and the one below that is ten and then the little but little dials here at the bottom you see are in increments of two so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust this pipette to a volume of 750 microliters so simply turn this volume adjustment knob until we go to 750 microliters so just keep turning and whoops we've gone a bit too far and here we are as you can see there are some little lines here and each of those lines if we count is an interval of two microliters so directly on there is 750 microliters so once you've selected your volume you have to hold your pipette depending on the hand you are so if you're right-handed, the best way to hold a pipette is like this. So, as you can see, I have my hand around the pipette. My finger is around here to stabilize it. My thumb is ready to push down the plunger. And my thumb is also ready to eject the tip once we're finished. So, how do we use it? You simply go up to the flask or wherever you're taking the liquid out of. You push down the plunger until it clicks once and you pull it back up again slowly. Then in your tip you will have a volume of 750 microliters. I will show you this later on in this video. So let's get to it quickly. Now say you want to eject the fluid you have in your tip. You simply push this down and you push down a little harder because there's a second click. What this ensures is that all the liquid that's in the pipette comes out. However, when you're pipetting up, you should not pipette from the second point down, mainly being because that will not be 750 microliters, for example. You should always pipette from the first um, click, as you can see, second click, first click. When pipetting up, you always go up like that. So, how does this pipette work? This pipette works by displacing air. So, as you can imagine, when you push down, you're displacing air. When you go back up again on the plunger, it's taking air in. And that is how the pipette sucks up fluid 
and then pushes it back out. Okay, so what we can see here is that there is, is a little hole, a sort of little thing there. So what we have to do is we try, need to have to try and get the arm out of there. You see, it just simply clicks out of there. So you simply push it up here, you hear it click, and you can take off the ejector arm which you can clearly see there. Now, we come to the main body of the pipette. This pipette works with springs inside, so first thing you have to do is you need to unscrew this part here. Okay, now, as you can see, we come to the main part of the pipette in here. So, it simply just pops out and this is the air chamber inside in there so let's try and have a look at what's wrong and s since we're here do we have a look in here this is simply what pushes it through as you can see there I'm not sure if you can see there's something in there to push so we have a look in here do we maybe have a blockage in here so What you should be able to do is pass air through here. That's the way pipettes work. And I have a feeling that we have a blockage through this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to blow some air through this. Not with my mouth, but with, some, with somebody you can blow air with. So just give me a moment whilst I blow some air through this. I was unable to blow air through this, so it means that there's something blocked in there. So what we have to do is we have to try and unblock that. As you can see there actually, if we have a look once I'm back in focus, you can see we can't see right through. The reason being that there's something stuck in there. Yeah, as you can see there's something stuck in there. So very gently, I'm just going to get take something sharp that I can poke through this. Okay, so as you can see, you can sort of see through now, and when I try and blow air through this pipette, you should be able to throw blow, blow air through, so just give me one moment here. Let's just have a go. Okay, so, upon testing, I can blow straight air, th air straight through this, which meant that we just simply had a blockage in here. So now, we're going to put this back together again, so... Here is the air chamber inside the pipette. What we're going to do is simply push this into there. Now, you just take the end of the pipette, you push it through here. Okay, and now what you have to do is... You take this here and you simply screw it back into place and make sure it's screwed it nice and tight as you can see it's screwed up nice and tight there next step we take the ejector arm as you can see the ejector arm has something there you simply push that through here again you simply just slot it into place and wait for the click now there we go, we have our pipette back together again. So, again, just to recap, I hope you remember how to use a pipette. Pull this up here to adjust the volume. So let's say we do 750 microliters. You push this back down here. Check it works. We are going to choose 750 microliters. Just make sure we're exactly on 750. Push this back down. And before we get to the liquid, what we're going to do before we go into liquid is we will push this down to the first click. Not the second click, the first click as you can see here. Now, you lower your tip into the liquid as you can see. 
you slowly bring the plunger up. Right, let's have a look. As you can see, we clearly have some liquid in here. And that liquid is exactly 750 microliters. Now, we want to expel this fluid back. For example, we want to put it in a well, or we want to put it into our culture, or into our solution. So, let's show you how to do that. All that you do is you simply go to your culture, you aim your pipette tip over it, and you just push down on the plunger, and you push it a little bit more. Now, if we have a look, we have no liquid left in here. So, next step we'll want to do is that we'll want to get rid of our tip. You simply push down on here, and there goes the tip. There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned how to use the Gilson Pipette Man or Pipette, Bo Pipette Man. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and stay um, connected for some more cool videos.